At this time of year, you've got quite enough on your plate preparing all the Christmas food without worrying about what you're going to feed yourself in between. So I've got a couple of really nice quick snacks that you can eat whilst you're preparing the festive feast. And the first is scrambled salmon, which is a really nice variation on the old scrambled eggs. Now for this, you need a bowl with four tablespoons of milk, and in that you want to put 100 grams, that's four ounces, of smoked salmon. Now you don't have to buy the posh bits, you can buy the scrag ends, they'll be absolutely fine. Then you want to take two ounces, that's 50 grams of butter, and put that into a saucepan and start to melt that. There we go. And leave that for a few minutes to melt down. Don't let it burn, don't let it get all brown. Then you want to take four eggs in a basin and whisk those up and get them really well mixed together. Keep going till they're absolutely blended. And then you want to season it. Now we're not going to add any salt because frankly, salmon is very salty anyway. We're just going to add a little bit of black pepper. There we go. And mix that in a little bit more. And then we'll just see if our butter has melted properly. It's just, just finishing off there. Now, what you want to do is make sure that the butter hasn't burnt and when it starts to froth, which is what it's doing right now, you add your egg mixture. There we go. I'm just going to turn up the heat a little bit. There we are. And start stirring that round. And it will start to scramble quite quickly. Now you don't want to overcook it, but just keep going there. It should take a couple of minutes, that's all. And when that starts to just solidify, just firm up as it's doing now, you want to add your salmon and your milk mixture. There we go, we'll just get that in. That's lovely and marinated. Look at that, all mixed in together. Okay, keep going. Could just turn the heat up a little bit more. There we go. And look at that, look at those beautiful colours of that salmon and that egg together. There we are. You can just see that beginning to take shape. A lovely combination, very traditional, but very nutritious. There we go. Starting to firm up and don't let it overcook. Never let your eggs overcook. That is almost ready. What I'm going to do now is take a lovely plate of pumpernickel, which is that dark German bread. My mother's German, so she fed me this from when I was a little girl. It's lovely stuff. Take the egg and the salmon and put it all over that pumpernickel. And then you want to just finish off with a little bit of decoration, a bit of tomato all the way around the edge. The colours again, lovely in contrast, and a little bit of parsley. And there is a fantastic snack. Now, on Christmas morning, you could, of course, serve this as a breakfast. And if you don't want to eat the pumpernickel, which can be a wee bit heavy, you could use these lovely potato pancakes, and that just lightens the whole thing up a little bit. And I would serve this with a glass of champagne to get me going on the big day. So there you have it, scrambled salmon, which is a wonderfully simple dish. It's quick, it's nutritious, and it's quite delicious. next idea I want to show you I call a mushroom medley. And basically this is a very sophisticated mushroom sandwich, but it's very delicious. And what you need for this is any type of bread roll that takes your fancy. You can have a baguette, you could have a small roll here, or what is essentially a small loaf. It just depends on how hungry you're feeling. I'm going to take this small loaf. You want to take a sharp knife and chop his head off. So you're making yourself a little lid in effect. Then take a good metal spoon and just start to scoop out that inside. Don't throw this away, put it aside into a bowl because you could use it for stuffing at a later date. So just scrape the rest out. 
And then you want to melt three ounces, that's 75 grams of butter in a pan and take a little bit of it and brush it on the inside of that small loaf because you want to just soften it up ready for the filling we're going to put in a bit later on. There we go. And then put that in the oven, gas mark six, 200 centigrade, 400 Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes. And when it comes out, it will look something like this. So all ready and very hard. It's lovely actually, just ready for the filling that you're going to put in. Now, to make that, you want to take the rest of that butter that you melted and add a chopped onion. And then you want to add a garlic clove that you've peeled and chopped up and give it a good stir with a wooden spoon and just let that cook until the garlic and the onion have softened. I'll just turn the heat up a wee bit. There we go. And when that's softened, you want to add eight ounces, that's 225 grams of mushrooms. I've got mixed mushrooms here, cap, oyster and field mushrooms and I've chopped them up very finely as you can see and I'm going to put all this lot in which makes me look as if I must be very hungry but I'll just stick all that in and you want to cook that for about eight to ten minutes now, obviously I haven't got all that time now but I'm just going to roll it around in the onion and the garlic smells fab I absolutely love mushrooms. There we go, cooking up nicely. I wish you could smell this, it's great. And then I'm going to add a good glass of red wine. It's about three fluid ounces here, about 75 mils in it goes. Listen to that sizzle. And let that boil up for a few minutes. You actually want to let that boil. And then take it down off the high heat and put in six fluid ounces, that's 150 mils, of creme fraiche. This is a really filling snack, as you can see. So put that in and mix it round. And it's forming this wonderful, rich sauce. It's got great colour and great texture. And then let that cool down a little bit. And you want to pour it then into your loaf. So bring back the loaf and start to feed it in. And don't worry if it goes a little bit over the edge, that doesn't matter, that's the beauty of it. Pile it in there right to the top and then put his little hat back on. And I would serve this on a bed of lettuce with a good glass of red wine. And on the basis that I need it much more than you do, cheers.